Hello and welcome everyone. Hope you're doing well. Welcome to another session of our course. Hope you have enjoyed the last ones. Today we are going to talk about some new and important uh, items and techniques in AutoCAD. First, we are going to talk about blocks. We're going to see what they are, how we can work with them, how they can help us. Then we have a line, which is very important. And we can use it, for example, in furnitures. And another thing that we are going to talk about is scale. And after that, we're going to talk about furniture and their layers. And yeah, I guess that's it. Let's get started. Let's see what we can do in this session and what we're going to learn. All right, this is our plan. I hope that you have uh, worked on this step by step with me. Now, first, as I told you, the first thing that we are going to talk about in this session is block. First, let's see what it does and how we can use it or when we can use it. So as you can guess from the name, this command helps you to create some kind of a block of the items that you have already made. Up here, we have the block box and its items and settings that you can work with. The shortcut key for this command is B enter and after pressing it, you'll see this window. So as I said, you can create a block of the items that you have already made. And by doing that, uh, first, the complexity of the item would be reduced. Then the size would be reduced and overall your file would be a lot lighter. So this is why we put some of the items in blocks, for example, furnitures. So this way, their file would be lighter. You can select them easier and um, there would be less complex. Okay, let's see what we can do. Let's draw an item and put it inside a block. Let's draw a rectangle and then use an offset through inwards like this and another one and after that a circle from the center all right now let's make this item a block and let's see how it affects our work okay let's select our shape uh actually let's make our shape a little bit more complex let's rotate this like 45 degrees now let's select our item. Uh, you can select your item, then do the settings, or you can do the settings, then select your item and start your work. So now type down B enter, and in here, let's see what we can do in block definition. First, we need to set a name, for example, D, or draw. All right, now let's check our items that we have in here. First, we have uh, select an item, which tells us to select the item that we want to make a block. Okay, for example, we can select this item here, this object. And after that, we can press enter again, open up this window. And now we can see the object that we have selected in here, up here. Then down here, we have three more items, which are retain, convert to block, and delete. The first one would just retain your block. The second one would create your block and it would save it so that you can um, use it whenever you want. And if you check delete, um, your object, your selected object would be deleted from here, but it would be saved at the same time. So again, if you delete, if you check delete, the selected object would be deleted, but it would be saved. So you can use, uh, so you can use it with insert. And after all of that, you can select a base point. You can select a pick point uh, to continue your work. And usually we can just select the center as our pick point. Then if you click on the center, you'll see a X coordinates here and a Y coordinates, which is set based on the UCS that we have here, down here. 
okay after we are done with the items here we can just click on ok and then we have our shape our object here with this uh, grip point with this pick point at the center and now you can just select it and copy it move it or uh, basically do whatever you want to do with it now let's talk about a point which shows the importance of this command for example you have created a block and you have used it you have set it in somewhere in the project as well now you want to do some editing if you hadn't create your block you had to work on the objects for all on all of the objects one by one but now you can just select and then i i can open up the edit window one way is to click on it up here or i can do a double click on my object and then in here i can select my block and open up the block edits so this window is my blocks edits or settings and in here we can make some changes for example let's say we want a uh, another offset uh for example one here then for the circle as well and we can for example put another one in a center when we are done we can click on close block editor from up here and then in the window that gets open we can click on this to save our uh, changes and then if you take a look at our workspace we can see that all the objects here are changed so this is very important to know how and when we can use a block for example when we can uh, change an object to a block to so that we can uh, use it later on in our project and if you ever wanted to change a block back to a regular object you can use explode and then you can use uh, I mean work on the objects separately all the lines and everything and this would not change um, our other blocks they would stay the same and you can just uh, work on this block that you have changed so this was some of the uh, options that we can use in blo in block and we can actually do some more modifications from here and for example we don't want this uh, square here we can just erase it then close block editor save the change and now we don't have that so all of them changed except for this one because it is not a block anymore now when we can use blocks we can use them to set our doors our columns and our furniture as well if you remember we said that we draw the doors for example with technical drawing we draw each line separately for example the arc the thickness the door frame all of them are drawn separately and if you want to use these in different areas in your project you might need to select everything and it might be a little bit difficult so you can save these as blocks and as an already made object and you can use them in your project let's see some examples we're going to see some of the furniture that we have here for example this is a file of all the interior furniture that we might need in our project when we are working in our project and we have different categories as well for example stove refrigerator and sink and we have variety of blocks already made made blocks that we can use and even you can see that we have different beds tables even cars we have different cars as well uh carpets dining tables we have them all in different varieties and this is actually one file we have so many other files that we can use as well or let's check another file for example in here for our furniture as you can see we have different furniture with different hatchers uh, down here we have different doors and door openings and different styles and dimensions that you can easily use and if i want to show a major show you a major furniture file that we have here is this one 
and again we have different styles everything that you uh, actually think we have here for example we have them in uh, furniture kitchen bathroom and overall everything that you can possibly think of we have here and you can easily just select them and use them in your project and overall you already know that we can use them if we use them we can um, do our project extremely faster all right let's go back to our file let me just close this one all right now that we have uh, we are familiar with blocks let's go and use it in our project for example on the columns we're going to work on the columns as blocks because if we ever wanted to do some modifications on them uh, it would be easier because we have so many columns in our project so as i said we are going to work on the columns so we just need columns we can just turn off all the extra layers that we have here like this then we can select all the columns here and put them in one of the layers that we haven't used yet for example doors let's put them in doors then let's go back to the column layer and use a rectangle to draw a rectangle on this column like this then get a tensium offset outwards then connect all the lines like you want to draw their diameter and after that remove your exterior rectangle and then erase the uh, rectangle beneath the one that we just drew originally we were supposed to uh, draw some hatchers in this column as well but we haven't talked about talked about um, hatchers yet so I'll just leave it for now and these lines here are our columns axis and this is the center for example which we can use all right now it is time for us to change this object to a block so activate the command uh we need to select the name we can use c as column then activate select object and select this then we need a pick point we can choose the center and then we can check convert to block and now we have our block with a pick point with a base point in the center now we want to use this block for other columns as well we can copy this then uh, see if we choose the center point as our peak point we need to use some of the snaps to really align the objects um, it would have been easier like this to choose the peak point in our corners the reason that i changed the layer before i started my work was that i can draw whatever I, uh, whatever i want and if i uh wanted i can just remove them let me just set my columns like this here copy this one as well okay let me just paste all of the columns here it might take a little bit time because we have so many columns in our project if we knew about block before we could have just used block to draw the columns in the for in the first place so what was the point here we learned that if we want to set some objects in our project we can just uh, create them as blocks before we just set them and this way if you wanted to work on them later for example do some modifications it would be quite easier and faster if I want to work faster, I can do something else. I can select all of these columns here like this, and then I can copy them like this. And I can just go on like this. All right, guys, you might think that this is kind of a busy work you might think that this is all 
it's too easy, too iterative. You can even say that these uh, works kind of, you can say that they might be somehow boring even, but we don't have such things, you know, because we should be practice and keep practicing if you want to uh, somehow get more professional and more faster uh, in these projects. So let's move on. Let's actually continue. I'm sorry. And make sure to select the points correctly then continue copying the rest of the columns like this this is easy but it is a very good practice all right let me just copy this one for this part as well and here then up here we have two more left Another one down here, and here, and I guess we're done. All right, now that we are done, let's turn off the column layer that we have here, uh, and let's see what would happen. We have a warning. It says that, all right, you are just working on this layer. You want to turn it off? We say yes. Now we delete all of these columns. And then we're going to turn on the layers. Now we have all the columns in their own places. The only thing that remain is we are going to put some solid hatches in them. And we're going to do that later in uh, later sessions. This should be trimmed out. So extend then trim. So up to now we are done with the columns. Let's actually put uh, some hatchers in one of the columns. Let's assume that we know how, how it works. So in block editors, we can type down H and then we can put some hatchers like this. And then we close our editor. And now we have solid hatch on all of the columns here. So this was somehow a preview of this command of hatchers. Uh, we're going to talk about this completely uh, in next sessions. Now we want to use blocks for setting the doors in our project. Let's enter one of these files here and select the door. We want a one meter doors, control C, control tab to go back to our workspace and control V to paste it here. Okay, so as I said, we are going to use these blocks for our doors, for example, because they are more detailed. And if you drew your doors detailed like this, you can actually save them as blocks and you can use them if you want it. So first step, let's just select the door and then we're going to move it to the to its layer door. But as you can see, it didn't move because if it moved, um, its color should have been blue, the, the color of the door layer. So if we select it and check it in properties, we can see that it has its own color. We can put it on by layer. But it didn't change again. What is this? Why this is happening? I mean, we just put them, uh, we just moved it in the, in the door layer and we uh, set it in by layer color, but it still didn't change. Well, the reason is we need to enter block editors and in here we need to select our object like this. Then after that, click here on home. Then you need to change the layer from here and change the properties as well. So when you are working in block editor, always make sure to set your object in their own layer and properties for example for doors we can select doors and the properties should be on by layer after that click on close block editor and save the changes and now finally our door our block uh, got changed now we can just copy this 
then paste it for example here let's check the distance we have one meters and what about our door yeah it's one meter as well now we can use three different commands to set our door here copy rotate and move it's gonna take a while yeah i mean we have so many doors in our project is it logical to do this to set them like this no of course we're gonna we're gonna learn a new command here in modifiers if you click here you can see a line now what this command does you know it works as three different commands move rotate and even scale so it is very important the shortcut key is al and now let's use it in an example for example we have a line here and a rectangle here what we want to do here is we want to align this rectangle with this line here one time we're just gonna uh, align it with the same scale and another time we're just gonna move and rotate it so instead of using copy or move and rotate we're gonna do all these three commands with just one command so type down al enter then select the object then we need a source point to specify so we can for example select this point and we want it to be set here and we want the second point to be set here then if you press enter it asks you if you want to change the scale let's say no first and as you can see basically it just got rotated and moved at the same time and remember the first source point that you select is very important let's activate a line again and select our object this time let's select our points like this enter no so as you can see the source point is very important now again activate a line select the object enter then select your points like this we haven't pressed enter yet now enter and this time for this question select yes what happened as you can see we just did three different commands here with just one click i mean we moved the object we rotated and we actually changed its scale and then we aligned that to that line that we had so a line is very important and useful command all right activate again then this time let's select our points like this center select yes so this time it aligned our rectangle with our line based on the distance that we specified so this was a line now let's use it to in our project to set our doors so al enter select the object now for the points first point and the second one would be like this enter no and we can just move this down a little bit like this but this door opening here is outwards we want it to be inwards we can use which command mirror am i enter based on this axis this time erase the source object and this is our door okay now again copy move it here again al select the object then select your points as well like this enter and no just like this i have my door and the only thing that you need you might need to do is uh to do some moving now we should use mirror again because uh, we want this door opening to be towards the wall and you are completely familiar with mirror type down m2p 
these two points i can just set my door and erase my source object and i can use mirror for the other side as well so type down m2p again for these points f8 activated and this is my door now let's select these copy and move them up here just paste them up here let's see um again we can copy those sets of doors and we can paste them i guess up here we just need to mirror them to change their direction to the wall so mirror based on the m2p of these points like this and here erase the object source source object i'm sorry now we can mirror this to the other side mirror is another useful command in our project like this now let's work on some other types of doors for example we have a double lead door up here let me just check the distance they are one meters each i guess yeah so let's go back to our file here and select one of the doors we can copy it and paste it here now this one is actually aligned so we can just move it here then we can use mirror to set the direction set it in correct direction f8 activated and yes move it here and then another mirror based on this point and this time we don't erase the source object now we can just easily select that am i enter based on this axis here and we can actually see that this is not a center point so we need to you find the midpoint the midpoint between these two points and now enter all right let's see where else we can set a door uh copy and up here let's set a door let's see where 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 um here okay this is good okay this is a restroom door and if we check the distance we have 85 cm but how much is this one it is one meters so what we can do here we can again exactly use a line and this time we can change its scale as well so a line then select the object and set your and select your points first one and second one enter and change the scale like this and just move the door down a little bit and after that we can just copy it to this part and then oh we have some other restrooms as well so let's get another copy like this then al then select your object and after that select your point and put it here change the scale the direction is not correct we need to change the direction with mirror and after we set the door like this you can just get a copy and put another one here oh i'm sorry co and put it here all right so this was how we can use blocks to set our doors the only remaining things are those hidden lines that we used for our doors uh, we can actually set them or save them as blocks and use them in our project as well just a point here sometimes we might uh not see any hidden line and we would have this straight line like this for example 
this means that in these areas uh, we have something called a threshold and we might have these thresholds in some doors such as bathrooms and restrooms they are these kind of a uh, step shaped objects and we show them with straight lines so except for these areas we can use head on lines for the rest of the doors we can just uh, go on and select its particular block or we can draw one we can uh, actually draw one with editor so first let's choose the door layer then select l enter first draw these two lines like this and then select hidden lines it didn't change so we need to change the scale with control one let's put the line type scale on point one it is still too large so let's try 0 0.08 no 0 0.05 and yeah this works and remember these lines are set above the doors so you won't see them but they should be aligned with the wall thickness now close your editor and save the changes and now i have head on lines for all of my doors and just remember to set the hidden lines for the double leaf doors separately Oh, and another thing create a door with a, a straight line and save them as a block to use for those places that we need to have thresholds for example here that we have the restrooms we definitely have thresholds as well so we can get a copy and put it here then we can use explode and then delete these lines and select the door then create your block for name we can write down door wc pick points and okay then you can draw the lines for the threshold and you can actually um, draw them before you make a block but i just wanted to use the block editor as a practice again now draw your lines okay like this now click on close save the change okay here we go but there's still a problem we didn't set it in the door layer so in here select the lines click on home select the door layer and select the by layer in properties then close down this editor now if you check here the scale is still different so what we can do here you might think of a line but we can't actually use that because they are already aligned so we can use another useful command this is one meters and the door is 85 cm so let's see what we can do about it the command that we are going to talk about is called scale and it helps us to uh, somehow change the scales of the objects that we want to set in our projects so let's see how we can work with it okay let's just remove these and let's draw another rectangle first of all let's check the icon up here in modifier box well obviously we can use this to change the scale all right what is the shortcut key here that we have for scale we can use sc enter now let's draw another rectangle here and let's put it in some other layers for example door just because we want it to be in different color now if we check the dimensions in these uh objects we have 7.7 meters for the bigger one and 3.54 for the smaller one now what we do what we want to do here is we want to change the scale of the smaller object that we have for example we can change it to the same size as the uh, bigger object or basically any other scale that we want so let's select this and down here it says to specify base point for example here and 
after that you can see that we can change its size based on the point that we have specified now as you can see i can either change the scale manually like this or i can set another point to change the scale for example let's say that we want to change its scale to the exact scale exact scale of the bigger one well, I don't know what is this scale, so I can just try double it, doubling it. And actually it worked because the side length of the smaller rectangle was exactly half of the uh, diameter of the larger one. So if we try doubling it, it means that we are exactly set them in same scale. Now, let's draw another rectangle with some... Uh, regular scale that we don't know like this now let's again try to set these in on same scale first of all let's select a contact point like this then type down sc and select your base point again like this for example it is actually the contact point as well and down here we can click on reference so exactly just like rotate we have both copy and reference as subcategory items here so if you are uh, familiar with rotate you can actually learn uh, this command easily because of some similarities that they share so after that we can select these two points and we can set them here now both objects have the same scale here but why do we have a gap up here because simply we had different dimensions so if you change one side length the other one would change accordingly so this is why we would have a gap here now let's draw another rectangle this one uh, this time five by five let's activate dynamic input as well uh then rec five by five then let's type down a c and after that select your object then select your point and if we select the center one this would happen and if we select the base point here scale would change like this and if you select it up here it would change like this now type down sc select the object and sell, uh, select the point in the center and this time say we want to triple it like this all right our side length was five meters and if we check it now we have we would we would have 15 meters like this now this time let's cut it in half so activate your command select your object select your center but this time get a copy of the source object now to cut this in half we just need to multiply this by 0.5 enter and now the scale of this object is exactly half of the bigger one okay so now let's talk about some techniques some other techniques in the scale uh say we want to change the scale of an object in our project to some other objects that we want i mean to some other scale that we want uh, we have two ways for doing that let's just get a copy of this rectangle and put it right over here and now for example let's say that we want to put this uh put the scale of this rectangle on one five hundred so in here you can easily type down hundred divided by five hundred and we have 0.2 so we just find out that if we want to change the scale to 1 500 we can just multiply this by 0.2 so this was one way another way that we can try is we can type down sc then select our shape select the base point as well and then down here in the items click on reference we can type down one divided by hundred and after that type down one divided by 500 
And just like this, the scale would change this to 1 500th. So we had two ways. First, we can type down a C, then select the object, select the point after that. Then, for example, we want the scale to be 1 200th. We can divide 100 by 200. Then we can multiply it by 0.5. Or I can do something else. Uh, oh, okay, I didn't set the base point for the first one. Now, 0.5, okay. For now, we can type down SC, then click on reference. Then we type down 1 divided by 100, then 1 divided by 200, like this. And the scale will change. And now, with these two techniques, you can change the scale of your objects to any other scale that you want. Okay, now that we learned about scale, let's use it in our project. We said we can use scale on this door, for example, select it. First of all, align the door with the, uh, with the wall that we have here. Then select it, type down SC enter. Then we can select the base point, And after that, we can select reference and set the door like this. And just like this, I changed the scale of my door and set it in this opening. So today we talked about three different uh, techniques and all of them are very important and very useful. Align, scale and block. And guys, don't forget, uh, make sure to put the hidden lines that we have here in door layers. And actually the same goes for the uh, places that we have thresholds as well. So thresholds would be in the door layers as well. And uh, remember to put the hidden lines for those places that we have regular doors. And as we said, we are going to draw the hidden lines for the double leaf doors here as well and set, uh, set them as blocks. So first let's um, use explode then remove this one then let's move this hidden line up a little like this then let's see what we can do we can remove these and after that we can expand this a little bit more now after that we can create a block of this whole door or you can actually symmetrize this door to the other side by mirroring and create your block to have a all have an already made double leaf door. So first let's do that. Let's mirror it to the other side like this. And now let's select the whole door. Unselect the lines that we don't want. Now B enter. For name, we can for example write down door one and just like this this would be our block and all of the double leaf doors should be like this we can delete these and we can use mirror to set this to the other side m2p between these two lines and okay now uh, we can select all the restroom doors that we have in this side of our plan. Like this. Select all of them. And then we can mirror them based on this point. And we can check them and move them if needs be. Uh, where else? Okay. Move this one as well. Okay. And for these double leaf doors, we can actually remove them. We can use the blocks that we, uh, that we created just now. So if you think about it, this is actually quite step by step. We introduce you to the lines, to the hidden lines, for example. Then we talked about how we can use them in blocks. M2P between these two points. And we can mirror it 
So this was how we can work on the doors in our project. You can go ahead and complete the rest if anything is left as a practice. Now we are going to start working on the furniture. Uh, before we doing that, let's actually turn off some of the layers that we don't need here. For example, we can turn off the access layer. They had just made our file a little bit too crowded. To work on the furniture, first we need to check our plan to see what kind of a furniture do we even have. For example, here we have some kind of a vegetation. It could be a greenhouse or something. So let's go to one of these furniture files and select one of these patterns. For example, let's select this one. Now control V, then control tab to go back to our file and control V to paste it here. Now this is quite large. What we can do, we can use a scale to make it smaller like this then get another copy and again a c this time make it bigger then get another copy and put it here and you can actually use another pattern as well for example this one ctrl c let's go back to the file then ctrl v here change the scale again and we can put it here and then we can use mirror based on this point to set them in the other side all right so now now let's go back to the plan and uh for example we want to work on these furniture up here we can easily select them all then press ctrl c then press Ctrl Tab to go back to our plot project. Then Ctrl V to paste it here. Now guys, what happened here is everything that we set here was ascribed to the uh, same furniture layer that we had in the other plan. Because both layers have the same exact name. We have furniture here and furniture there so that's why this happened here and if you take a look at here we have uh, no other furniture layer here just the one that we created but if you take a look at here we have some extra layers so let's check them in layers to see uh, what's going on we don't want extra layers because they can make our file too crowded and we don't want that all right so let me see uh first this layer is extra we can delete it then we have tree uh this is actually good because we need a layer for our vegetations and plants we can use this one or we can use another or we can rename it actually to plants let's select the color as well it's already green so we can actually uh, make it a little bit darker uh let's see what else we can remove we can remove uh, this one as well and uh, as we said before def points and zero are autocats default layers and we they can't be deleted all right so and the others are good okay so the color for our furniture would be purple now let's move some of the item other items here as well we can select these Control c Control tab and Control v to paste them here uh we might have some problems regarding their places uh let me just check the plan okay yeah we need to change the direction of the door here so select this door here and mirror it based on this point and remove the source object and if you think that you might need a few more modifications you can use a stretch for example then you can select this object and unselect this one with holding shift and we can 
stretch this door down a little bit like this very easy now again we can do the same for this side as well as enter and stretch it up like this now let's go back to our plan let's see what else we can do here uh in here in this area we can work on the uh chairs that we have in amphitheater so let's select them then we can copy them and we can easily set them here and as we said before each one of these chairs are a block we can uh, go to their block editor and we can check their settings for example we can check if they are in furniture layer or we can check the pr uh, properties as well so if you had to you could just put this in uh, furniture layer or and you could just choose by layer in properties now for the rest of the chairs in this amphitheater we can just copy all of these and we can copy them to the for the rest of the on the i mean on the rest of the stairs and this was our amphitheater let's go back to the plan here we can work on this room here the furniture in this room every item is a different and separate block okay now control c again control tab and we can set them here by control v now guys if you didn't like this furniture that you are using right now, you can easily go to the furniture file in that in here and you can use one of the furniture patterns that we have in here for example let's use um let's use this one or no actually let's go back let's use another one let's see what do we have here in departmental area uh we have for example this one okay let's copy it and let's go back to the file and set it here Control v so again this is a block we need to rotate it 90 degrees and we can put it like this and after that we can mirror this and i enter here we can put one here and uh and we can put another one up here for example we can and again we can use mirror and let's move it a little bit further from the wall and if you take a look at here they are in different layer they are set in different layer from the furniture that we are working in and they have different colors as well because it had a different name and it went to a different layer so first for, let's put it in furniture here and yeah it's okay actually and if didn't if it didn't change as we said before we can go to block editors then from home we can select the layer that we want uh which we apparently need to do okay i didn't realize that i'm sorry and after that we can close down the editor and save our change now both of them got changed if we type down la and then in here we can remove the extra layer uh okay we can't do that let's see what is the problem let's open up the block editor again home let me just check them in here real quick let me see let me see okay now that we put everything in the furniture layer we can just easily delete this extra layer like this and as you can see all the furnitures that we set are set in the furniture layer okay guys you can go ahead and complete the rest of the furniture yourselves 
uh, you can use this plan that we have here or you can use this uh, furniture file that we have here uh, which has a different so many different items furnitures uh, patterns that you can choose from uh, and we have actually different categories for each of them as well you can actually this is actually based on you again and your taste and how you want to work and how you want to complete your uh, plan all right guys in this session we talked about uh, so many different and useful um, techniques and commands I hope that you can use all of them in your projects remember try to practice them all as much as you can because they can actually help you to get a better outcome out of your project and guys about these furniture here you can actually use your own creativity to uh, somehow design and uh, decorate them and this could actually be helpful if you ever wanted to become a let's say interior designer or decorator all right good luck see you in the next session